Shalom, Israel. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Uh, back with another lesson, and um, I'll title this one, um, To Keep His Commandments. To Keep His Commandments. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yimla Alaha Yanawa Abanawa Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Um, and something that's on my spirit, this will be quick, you know, quick, straight to the point. You know, and as the title reads, uh, uh, to keep his commandments. You know, um, you know, the scripture tells you the whole duty of man, the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord and to keep his commandments. And, um, you know, uh, going back to uh, our forefathers, you know, to Moses and um you know, uh, uh, the, you know, the Lord delivering uh, us, you know, um, the tribes, you know, um, out, of, out of the first Egypt, you know, um, delivering us out of slavery, bondage, captivity and bringing us, you know, the tribes um, into the wilderness and the Lord, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, giving us. You know, uh, these law, statutes and commandments, the Lord said, you know, he t he told, you know, our, our forefathers, you know, our people in the wilderness that, you know, I choose you, you know, um, you know, you, you are my people and, and I am your power. And, you know, the Lord gave us these uh, law, statutes and commandments, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians, you tribes. And we have Israelites scattered all over the world, man. We have Israelites that look like the so-called white white people, the white folks. We have Israelite Hebrew Israelites that look like the so-called Chinese and Japanese. It ain't about color. We got, you know, Israelites, you know, scattered all over the world into every single nation. And some of us look like the other nations. This this is spiritual, man. And this ultimately goes back to your your father. Does your father, um, you know, uh, um, go back to to Jacob? Because it's based on your father. Um. But you know, the Lord, you know, uh, uh, given us these law, statutes, and commandments, man, and you know, they're they're forever for for His people. But you know, our people rebelled against the lord in the wilderness and the lord said i'm gonna uh, um you know i'm gonna send for for breaking those commandments and going against him the lord said i'm gonna scatter you into every nation into uh uh you know slavery bondage and that's going to be your punishment and the lord he never he never did away with his people but it's for correction it's for punishment why uh you know the tribes why we you know, we got it like this, man. Why it's so hard. And still to this day, our people don't listen. They, they're rebelling against the Lord. Let me go here. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Still to this day. You know, Jake don't want to listen. Let me go here. Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30 and um, I'll go 30 and 10. Deuteronomy 30 and 10. It says, um. And it reads, it says, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Yahweh, to keep his commandments, see, to keep his commandments, he, you know, he's not asking us, these are commandments, he's commanding us to, to, to do this, to do what he say, he's not asking us, these are commandments, this is a command. It says, and his statues, which are written in this book. What the God, this Bible.
Bible. His statutes which are written in this book of the law. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul. It says. Yeah, the, you know. You know, we're, we're supposed to be seeking the Lord with everything we got, man. You know, but our people, they're 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 not doing that. You know, um, it says 11, it says for, for this commandment, which I command thee this day, still to this day here in uh, 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 October uh, of 2024, still to this day, we, you know, we can't keep the law, statutes and commandments perfectly, but we are to be rehearsing them to the best of our ability because it's, it's impossible to keep the lord's uh commandments perfectly in in our captivity in this time man you know going you know going to the dietary law we know all the food is pretty much poison and defiled the lord told you that we would uh uh his people would eat their 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 food defiled uh amongst um you know the the nations man in captivity so that's just one piece but there's a lot but you know that we can't just keep perfectly but we are to rehearse and do everything we can, everything we can to uh, uh, rehearse and do the best we can to keep these uh, uh, commandments, man. And the Lord sees that who's who's trying everything they can. It says. Um, for I, it says for this commandment, which I commanded thee this day. Um, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Let me hop down 15. Let me hop down to uh, 15. It says, see, see, I have set before thee this day life. I have set. I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. See, the Lord said, you know, I'm giving you a choice, Jake. You know, uh, uh, um, life or death. Or, or 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 uh success or you know or or destruction desolation see it says 16 it says in that i commanded thee this day this day today still to love the lord thy god to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. 17. It says, but. Huh? But if thine heart turn away. You hear that, Jake? If you if you don't do what I say, it says so that thou will not hear. But shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. And this is what our people have done. You got uh, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You're all over the place, man. The tribes, they're all into Kemet and Egyptology and Islam and uh, Buddhism and Hinduism and so, uh, Scientology and atheism. They're, they're, they're serving all kinds of strange gods. They're, in, they're into everything. The Lord is telling you, but if thine heart turn away so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. The Lord telling you, if you if you don't listen to me, this was and this is this is what we about to see. This is why it's going to be a righteous judgment in the end here. Because our people are just a good majority of our people and even into the, the other nations into the world is just pure wickedness. You know, they, they don't want to hear the words of this uh, of the Lord, man. They don't, you know, they 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 despise to do good because, you know, this is the seek the, 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 the scriptures, the uh, the law, statutes and commandments are the secrets how to live life. To be righteous, to be holy. And we know a good majority of our people and even to the other nations, they don't want to be holy. You want to eat all the abominable foods and just be as nasty and perverted and uh, uh, as you can possibly be. 
and be arrogant and proud and rich. You know, um, you know, th th this is just the spirit, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, a good majority of our people and even, you know, throughout the world, man. So there's to there, there, there's a righteous judgment coming and the Lord is, you know, judgment is going to start with two thirds, a good majority of his people. And then on down to the other nations is judgment coming. It's it's a horrific judgment coming let me go here i'll close out with this i'll close out with this uh deuteronomy 32 will stand deuteronomy deuteronomy 32 and 25 Deuteronomy 32 and 25. I'll close out with this. It says, um, it says the, uh, the sword without, huh? The sword without and terror within. And, you know, the Lord, uh, uh, the Lord is sending, um, he, there's, there's pestilence. There's diseases that are coming. They got this, uh, disease X. That's coming. You got bio warfare that's coming on a whole nother level. This this could be the next uh, false flag. These pestilence, these diseases that are coming. You got scientists, scientists all over the world, especially in that Ukraine. They're they're cooking up these diseases and, and, and they're about to release to the public, man. You see, it tell you uh, uh, in scripture, the slain of the Lord shall be many. The Lord is coming to put people to death. There's judgment coming. Famine. You see the pestilence that are clean. Uh, you know, they're cleaning, clinging to uh, 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 the foods and animals and stuff now. This is a horrifying judgment coming because of all the wickedness and, uh, uh, um, and evilness that's going on in the world, man. It says the sword without and terror within. You got World War Three. Those missiles are coming. Those thermonuclear uh, 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 missiles. They're coming ultimately to this place here in America, Babylon. That's going to be a lot of people's judgment. He, the Lord going to let a lot of you wicked individuals go all the way to the end. You are being preserved for the in the thermonuclear fire. The lake of fire. The Lord is going to, he's going to burn a lot of people in the end here. He's going to let you be as successful and proud and arrogant and, and just let you go on and on into the end. Because he told you he's coming like a thief in the night. You're not going to know when this is coming. Ultimately, you, Jake, and you other nations got it coming. A lot of people are going to get burnt to death. That's going to be your judgment. Burned alive. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin. The suckling also with the man of gray hair. The Lord said, the Lord told you that uh, uh, his eye shall not spare. His eye shall not spare. You got young children out here, little babies. The Lord tell you whoever perish being innocent. The Lord told you uh, my ways are not your ways and, and his thoughts are not your thoughts. So I'll read it again. He said the sword without and terror within. It says shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling, also with the man of gray hairs, old, young. It don't matter. You're going to get it if you are not uh, a part of the Lord's elect. Shalom.